What's up guys, this is Royden with Gadgets 360 and this is a quick unboxing of the OB World Phone SF1. Now, OB as a company launched in India last year as OB Mobiles, however that didn't really take off too well. So here we are in 2015 and the brand has relaunched itself as OB World Phone. So there are two budget offerings which will be initially rolled out called the SF1 and the SJ1.5. Today we have the SF1 with us which is a slightly higher end variant and it comes in a pretty interesting packaging as you can see, it kind of reminds us of the old school iPod uh, MP3 players which is not really surprising considering the main investor in OB World Phone is John Scully who is the ex-Apple CEO. Well anyway, so let's quickly unbox this and see what we have inside. So inside the box we have the phone itself, we'll take a closer look at this in just a bit. Uh, we also get a travel adapter and we have the micro USB cable for charging and a little instruction booklet. So here's a closer look at the OB World Phone SF1. Now in the front we have a 5 inch Full HD uh, display with Konings Gorilla Glass 4 and it also features OB's floating display design which means as you can see the display it doesn't sit flush with the rest of the body and appears to be well floating. So up on the top we have a 5 megapixel front facing camera and there is an LED flash as well and uh, coming over to the sides we have the volume rocker and the power button both placed on the left. Down at the bottom we have a couple of grills for the microphone, speaker and of course a micro USB port and over to this side we have the SIM slot which can also accept a micro SD card uh, up to 64 GB. And finally up on the top we have a single 3.5 millimeter headphone socket. On the back we have a 30 megapixel primary shooter and a single LED flash. There is a 3000 milliampere battery underneath uh, but the cover is non-removable. Now the rest of the body apart from the display has a nice uh, matte finish which is not very slippery and offers decent grip. The SF1 runs on a custom version of Android Lollipop 5.0 called uh, OB Live Speed OS. Uh, powering the phone is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 octa-core SoC. Uh, you get 3 GB of RAM for the 32 GB variant and 2 GB of RAM on the 16 GB variant. There's also Dolby Audio for sound enhancement present. OB's new offering aims to put style and design at the forefront rather than just focusing on specification and that really shines through in the SF1. Uh, it certainly is a uniquely designed phone which would help it stand out in this crowded uh, mid-range segment. Uh, we'll know how good the phone really is in our full review so stay tuned for that. As always if you like the video do subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Gadgets360.